Hello YouTube gardeners. Today's video is on planting and growing red cabbage, also called purple cabbage, and really these growing requirements apply to cabbage in general. I only grow the red cabbage because I have this delicious purple cabbage salad recipe that I love to make. It's a Slovenian dish, family recipe, extremely easy to make, very healthy and full of garlic. So delicious. I'll share that with you guys in the near future. Moon, are you ready to plant some purple cabbage? All right, so cabbage is fairly easy to grow, but there is a lot to look out for. Um, soil requirements are very important. Also watering, they need to stay pretty moist, get lots of water and um, full sun is best. So lots to go over. So I'll go over it real quick and keep this video as short as possible. All right, the first growing requirement is the soil conditions. Cabbages grow best in soil rich in organic matter. So I'm going to be adding about three inches of Harvest Supreme to this soil that's already in the bed. It's an aged compost and my compost isn't ready yet, so I get that from time to time. This soil that's in the bed is a mixture of an organic soil and also some Dr. Earth planting mix. Also, cabbage likes to grow in well-draining soil, so they definitely want um, to stay moist, and we'll go over that in the water requirements, but they need to be in well-drained soil. So on to the water requirements, which are extremely important because cabbages like to stay consistently moist. So I'm gonna make sure that they don't dry out whatsoever. And the way I'm gonna do that is by looping these soaker hoses around the base of the stems growing area. And the soaker hoses work pretty good, but if there's not enough water coming out, I just come in with a small knife and open up the pores a bit poke some holes, and then that opens up um, some more water to flow through those pores. So very important to keep the cabbages consistently moist. And then as I mentioned earlier, full sun is best, but they can be grown in partial shade, but a full sun location is preferred. And along with the aged compost, these guys will really benefit from some blood meal. So as I work in the compost, I'm also going to work in some Dr. Earth blood meal so that they have some nutrients to feed off of as their root system grows. And these guys grow really big. They require quite a bit of space. They recommend about 18 to 24 inches in between for spacing, but I'm probably going to plant them a little closer together. Probably not quite 12 inches, but around that, maybe like at a 14 inch spacing. Now, one of the common problems that I experience every year in growing cabbages is the pests come in, um, mostly the roly polies, the pill bugs. They love to chew on the stems and it could do a lot of damage. It actually will kill the plant. So this year I had an idea of how to protect the stems but I just read that you could bury them pretty deep. So I'm gonna try that. I'm probably gonna do half and half. I'm gonna protect the stems on about three of these guys and then bury the other three. So I'm gonna dig a hole about four inches deep and get most of the stem down in the soil and pack it nice and firmly around because um, one of the major issues to look out for in growing cabbages is definitely the pests. It seems like most of the garden critters really love cabbages. So when the cabbages are young and vulnerable like they are at this stage, then lots of maintenance, making sure that the butterflies aren't landing on them and laying their eggs because obviously the caterpillars come in and start eating up all of the leaf growth and aphids are a huge issue 
Um, also, so I'm going to be fogging with some neem oil and some Dr. Bronner's soap mixture to keep the young plants protected and so that the pests aren't attracted to the smell of the cabbage leaves. In addition to fogging, I'm also going to use some row covers at night to deter the pests from landing on the um, cabbage plants and laying their eggs. And then in the daytime, I'm going to be putting nets over them. So just while they're young and vulnerable, I'm going to go through these measures. As they get bigger, it's not much of a concern because the pests could come in and eat some of the leaves, not a big deal. But obviously right now, there's just not a lot of leaves to share. And the little critters aren't the only ones that love cabbage along with us humans. The birds, boy, we have um, some flocks of pigeons and doves that fly through our neighborhood. And I've walked up on pigeons in the beds just eating away. So obviously don't have a lot to share with them either. And the nets will deter them from being able to get at the plants. All right, so just to quickly recap before I get these guys in the soil and get them planted, um, cabbages grow best in soil that is rich in organic matter. They really like to stay consistently moist not drying out. They grow best in full sun, um, spaced pretty far apart, but you could go about 14 inches apart, but they get pretty big. They definitely need to be protected from all the pests that are gonna come in and try to eat up the plants, and they could benefit from a blood meal. All right, I'm going to get these guys planted and I'm going to make sure that I'm not disturbing the roots as I get them in the soil. All right, all the cabbages are in, and I just finished giving them a super deep water. So the soil is nice and soaked, and you could see that I have a bunch of soaker hoses wrapped around the plants, so they're gonna be getting plenty of water. And I didn't wanna disturb the roots, so you could see here that in this area, I have three plants over there, I have two. Most of the other ones are just singles, but <clears throat> didn't want to disturb the roots so I left them and then I'll just see which ones do the best and then thin out the ones that are not doing as well. Oh wow, a little, little millipede. Uh -huh. Oh my gosh, he's so cool. Oh, I haven't seen one of these guys in a long time. All right, well, that's it for now. Should be having some cabbages in a few months. 
and tomorrow we're going to be in the mid to low 70s super stoked on that weather so going to get lots more cooler crops planted all right well that's it for now hope you enjoy your weekend and enjoy your garden